Hi lovely youth signs, welcome to Joy Energy Tarot, I'm Jenny. This is your intuitive guided reading for the week of the 17th till the 23rd of October. I hope you like it and if you do, please push like, subscribe and notify it. If you don't, it doesn't matter, matter. there's other lovely readers out there. I've done the shuffling and asking um, already, There's all the cards are down here, you pay, can't see them but they're done. And also I'm using the Angels and Ancestors Oracle messages for you guys this week. So for Virgo, Capricorn and Taurus, um, a message from your ancestors, what you need to know, a spirit guide message and an angel message as well. So let's start the week with a message from our lovely Louise Hay. All of my relationships are enveloped in love. Very important. All of my relationships are enveloped in love. We are all students and teachers and I often ask myself, what did I come here to learn and what did I come to teach? So often those people that really annoy you, <laughs> think about that and think, what am I supposed to be learning or maybe I'm supposed to be teaching them something. So, 17th, if you've got a 17 or an 8 in your chart, you're here to be in power, you have lots of stamina, you're a great employer, employee, in that you get the work done, you get stuck in, and you're go, 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 but you expect other people to be able to keep up with you. You're here to learn about money, and it's a great money number, and a number of being in power, but just don't abuse that power. You can be very lonely at times too. This goes on to the 23rd, if you've got the five, you need to have change, freedom, communication. So if you've left to do your own thing within a job, you can achieve amazing things. But if you're in one of those boring jobs doing the same thing over and over again, I don't think you'll last long because you will get sick of it. Right, you start off the week really, really good with the magician. You are able to manifest the love that you want in your life. So you are manifesting. You have got the ability, you're just as in touch with heaven as with earth, you're a rounded person, you can manifest your dreams, manifest whatever it is you want. So if you want to know how to do that, you think of your affirmation or what it is that you really want and you write it down 10 times and you really believe it and then you do that repetitively till you achieve what you really want and it works, okay? This is also about lots of communication coming in for you, emails, phone calls, texts, that sort of thing. And the clarifier is Ace of Cups. So whatever it is that you're manifesting or waiting to hear, it's going to make you feel really, really happy. So some of you might be manifesting love. It's going to make you feel wonderful. You've got the beginning of feeling happy, which is really good because some of you have been walking around feeling really quite down, feeling like you're sinking, especially because we're here in New Zealand. We've got so much rain. Australia is the same, actually. Um, just so much rain and it can be quite depressing. This is a five, okay, so those fives are about change, freedom, communication, as I've said, you've got two fives in here, so so you can change the way you look at things, that's why this has the beautiful flowers in there, don't look at the glass half empty, look at it half full, be grateful every day for some little thing, you know, you might be um, able to have a shower, you know, whereas or have some nice drinking water, or there's flowers in your garden. Just be grateful for two or three things every day to not look at things neg negatively. And the great thing about this card is your clarifier is the Empress card. So you've got the Empress and you've got the Ace of Cups next to it. So this is like you are manifesting abundance. This is about um, you looking after people, caring for people. You might be starting something on your new, where you, something new where you are doing that. You could be a business owner working at making cakes or making beds or assisting people whatever it is people look up to you as a motherly person even if you're a man and you are now attracting all the lovely things into your life that you want you are attracting abundance look at that it's just so beautiful you're starting you're creating the birth of something new that's why there's a the little baby there and you're creating something new that's going to give you a lot of growth and a lot of abundance you have got the strength to cope with everything you are, as long as you tame your ego, you can do anything. All the shitty things you've been through have made you really, really strong, okay? And next to that, clarifying it is the King of Pentacles. So you're going to be feeling a lot happier about your money. Um, you're going to be in control of the money. You've worked really hard. You've made re a lot of sacrifices. And now you're just feeling wonderful because you're now starting to reap the rewards from all the hard work that you've been doing. For some of you, though, you could be feeling a bit stagnated or a bit stuck. 
And then we move on to the Three of Swords. So some of you are carrying some sort of heartache from the past where you, um, I don't know, you got let down or hurt or you couldn't achieve what you wanted to. Others of you, you've, you might be um, carrying a broken heart from a broken relationship. But the rest of you, you're trying to decide what to do. You've got decisions and choices here. And one of those upsets you a bit, okay? But clarifying that, don't worry about it. Because clarifying it, you have got the star card. When you wish upon a star, it makes no difference who you are. So this is amazing. Whatever you're manifesting or starting up, some of you, if you're starting a new business, you've got the money. It's going to make you feel really, really happy. And you've got the star card. So you're on the right path. Your angels and guides are assisting you and looking after you. So for the rest of you, you know, things are ticking along well. You've got these great things coming in. As long as you don't look at things negatively, look at the glass half full, use your affirmations to um, cheer you up on a daily basis or to gain what it is you really, really want. Don't forget to tell your angels and guides because they will help you. And then covering the whole week, you've got the king of swords. So some of you... Um, have learnt through the school of hard knocks look at all those lovely lights there you're really really wise you've learnt so much you've risen above adversity now you're at the top of your field and so you can look at things logically not get emotionally involved and you can see things very clearly others of you are seeking the truth and others of you are getting advice from either a teacher an IT person or a lawyer there's somebody like that around you that can guide you and advise you because some of you might be dealing with maybe losing some money, you might have lost a little bit of money, or or otherwise this is a card of that lack of lack feeling, a bit like the five of cups really, but you feel like you haven't got enough, you know, or I'm not good enough, or that sort of thing. So immediately change that straight away, because the more you think about something, that's what you attract. So if you keep thinking I'm not good enough, or I won't get this job, or I haven't got enough money, you will attract that. So I am good enough for the job that I want. I easily attract the job that I want. I easily Money eat, flows easily to me. Change your affirmations and use the good positive ones. As soon as you feel like thinking like that, quickly change it. And you've got the six of wands. So that's about balance in your life. You're on the right path. And people love what you're doing. Isn't that great? Some of you may even be getting a certificate or a diploma or something. It's recognition from family or friends that, that you are really good at what you do. Okay. Right. So let's get on with it. Virgo. So we're using Kyle Gray's Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards today. Uh, yeah, and um, so Virgo, you've got the Shalem Master. So what is your message, Virgo? Be graceful in movement and action, Virgo. Slow and steady. Breathe and flow. Take a gentler approach, okay? You're being guided to flow like water. Blow like air and connect with your purest intentions. Don't feel you need to rush ahead. A gentler approach will be more fruitful and rewarding. More, move with subtlety and grace. Reach high, but also work. Um, sorry, but also ask yourself how you can move with the flow of life, rather than pushing against it. Do you have the capacity to refocus your gaze at this time? Can you slow down, or take more time to soften and breathe as you move forward? All of this will be incredibly beneficial for what happens next. Woohoo! Okay, Virgo. And your animal spirit for the week is dear. Be kind to yourself and others. Oh, they go hand in hand. I've got a funny feeling both those cards come out in the last readings. And yeah, so whatever you're going through, be kind to yourself, okay? And then your angel message is trust in your intuition. More, you do have inner sight. You guys are really quite psychic, all right? Okay, now we've got Taurus. No, now we've got Capricorn, sorry. Oh, drum. 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 And dream and journey. Journey inwards to uncover insights and information that will be important for your path, Capricorn. Then follow the guidance. You are very connected to the other worlds at this time. The wisdom and intelligence of the earth and her magic surrounds you. 
The drum, which echoes the sound of Mother Earth's heartbeat, Papa Tuanuku, has cleared the cobwebs and dust from your inner vision. What you have seen in your dreams and inner vision is not imagination but guidance, particularly if it has been coming to you repeatedly and has the potential to become reality. Dreams do come true. Know it and live it, Capricorn. Woohoo! Wonder what those dreams are. And you got bear. Stand up for yourself. Okay? Stand up for yourself, Capricorn. And your angel message, positive changes are taking place. Be patient. Okay, be patient. And finally, Taurus. You've got guardian angel. You are not alone, Taurus. Watch for signs and reminders from your angels and the loved ones that they are close by you. Remember, they are working hard to guide you. Everyone has a guardian angel who has been with them in all their past lives and will be there in all the lifetimes to come. So know that you are never alone and never will be alone. This card is a huge reminder that there is always help and support available to you. Your guardian angel is with you now and is here to aid you in all of your endeavours. In order to fully receive their support, first ask for it. Then surrender to the process. Know that whatever unfolds will be for your highest good. Okay? And lion. Woohoo! Ask for what you want. Oh my God. I just love it when they resonate with each other. Ask for what you want, Taurus. And your angel message is, life never ends, spirit endures all. Oh my goodness, so that um, clarifies that too, about never being alone. Okay, lovelies, I hope this resonates with you, and I appreciate every one of you, and thank you so much for watching. Have the most amazing week, and I'll see you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.